it's square, symmetrical, so I can just click there. There is a one inch hole in the center of this one, but first, the back one needs to be drawn. So we're going to draw the basic shape first. And we've got here this line stops there. So along one edge is two and a half inches. And draw a marker. Over. 2.5. Enter. Click. And go down. Just to draw a marker line. I'm going to stick another one to the side. Use a mirror tool. There we go. Now I have one on both sides. And I can use my slice tool. Line this way, 45 degrees. Hold down my Alt key so I only delete from the box. There we go, it's missing the side. I'm going to go over here to my object input palette and close it. So now I have my shape. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of my reference lines. These are the tools that I use to make the shape. I'm going to rotate it so it's the right shape of the birdhouse. Select my item, choose the rotate tool, or shift so I'm going vertically, X to choose my item again, I'll bring it into my window. Now I have the basic shape of the back. I'm going to extrude this now to 3 eighths of an inch so that I have the thickness, and looking at my object, here it is. Now what I want to do is duplicate this, because I need two of them, one for the front and one for the back. Let's take a moment and figure out how we're going to organize this drawing. In this particular case, we have two items now, and they're directly on top of each other, but I'm going to decide here, over here in the navigation classes, I have a design layer, and I have classes. In this case, each piece of wood, because we're using so many different uh, layers, and we want to draw them and show them from different directions, we're going to give each one a different class. I'm going to go over here and start naming some classes. Here's uh, BH for birdhouse dash front. And BH front, double click on my class button here. This way I can just start clicking on a new one, BH year, new, BH uh, top, hyphen top, and BH uh, bottom. And then we're going to do the roof. As if in the front, we're going to say that it is the uh, right top and the left top. Each top right. So we're just going to duplicate that one. Double click it and change that to left. So, so we have front and back, top and bottom, top left and top right. These are actually the roof lines. And then we have these bottom pieces, the two side pieces. New, H, lower side left. Draw, copy that, enter, new, paste, right. 
So now we have the two. Uh, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right? Two, four, six, eight. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different classes. I'm going to go in and change the fills on them to give them a little bit of texture. Click on Music Creation, Solid. We're going to click a Pattern. And we're just going to click a Light Pattern here. We may change those later to give them different patterns. Let's take a look at our piece here. This is, uh, we'll make this the rear. We'll change this class to rear. And we're going to change all the classes to not visible. And we can click on each one. I'm going to hold down the option key and click on the middle and it takes them all into the visible. We're currently in the none. We just sent something to the rear, so we still have something there. And this one is going to go to the front. There it goes. Oops. Sorry. We're going to choose that one and send it to the front using the class window. Front. There it goes. Let's go find it. There it is in the front. Take a look at some other views. There it is. Now, to put the hole in the center, we're going to take our circle tool. Draw a circle that is one inch. There's the circle and it's become shaded because we decided to use that pattern during creation. I'm going to extrude this. Hit enter. I'm going to choose both items. I'm going to subtract this circle from our piece of wood. Subtract. I'm going to subtract from the outside. Now let's take a look at what we have. Now we have an object with a hole. Let's hit some of these buttons here. There's an object with a hole in it. We can hit a polygon. And we'll see that we have a shaded version of the same thing. And on the front has this peg. It's a perch. So we're going to add that perch. And I'm not going to create another class for it. I'm just going to stick it into the perch. You can create a class for it if you'd like. And hit perch. Bring it up there. Measuring where it is. And we're going to draw a um, point. Eight. Click, extrude, and this perch is sticking out one inch. And when I assembled it, it went into about an eighth of an inch. So I'm going to put one, one, eighth into it. Now, here's the catch. If we look at this perch from different views, it's all the way through. Well, as you've seen, when you've examined the piece of wood, that hole does not go all the way through. So we have to move this object up slightly. And that's uh, x, y. That's the y axis going up. I'm going to move it uh, approximately half of the height of the, of the piece of wood. So it's 3 eighths. So that would be uh, 3 sixteenths. 3 sixteenths higher. Now you'll see that it's in the middle of a piece of wood. Now, here's a catch. If I choose both items and I select subtract solids, and I click OK, it gives me the nice hole that I'm looking for. However, the object goes away. So we're not going to do that. We're going to hit Control Z, undo a couple of times. And before we do the actual subtraction, I'm going to take this object and hit Control D for duplicate. Now there are two of them. One, I'm going to use, just leave it selected. I'm going to select our larger piece of what was it? Go to Model, Subtract Solids, Subtractor from there, 
Now this piece of wood, this little dowel, is the leftover. That's the duplicate, or that's the original. I subtracted the duplicate. Now I've got my piece of front piece of wood showing us. And there it is. There's our porch. We'll take a look at it from a straight on view. So there are my first two pieces. I have the front piece and I have the rear piece. The rear piece is blank. Now for some of the side pieces. The roof piece along the side is three and seven eighths. is three and seven eighths. And in this case, it meets at the top of our shape and goes down to the side. Three and seven eighths. I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna use my double line tool. It's set at three eighths already. We start with this choice here, the third one over. Start up here. And down and the distance oh, is three and seven eighths. So I'm going to type in three seven eighths. Enter. That's how long it is. There we go. There's one side. This wants to be in a different layer, but I'm just going to leave it in this one for the moment. I'm going to draw the other side as well. Actually, I'm not. I'm going to use a mirror tool in a moment. I'm going to extrude this to 5 and 3 quarters, 5.75. There. there we go. I need to slice this off just at the top because the top has this angle right there. The top has this angle. Go straight over, hit option. So I'm only doing this one piece. Keep that side. So we go. Now I'm going to use the mirror tool. Here's the angle to the other side. Now we have this internal piece here that's lined up to the bottom surface. And that also has that funny angle, 45 degree angle. And that piece underneath, I to put this together so I can't actually measure it, but it does go up. Two and no, one and sixteen, fifteen, fourteen, thirteen sixteenths. One and thirteen sixteenths up from the bottom. I'm going to take this one, come up one and thirteen sixteenths, one and sixteenths. Go. I have that one. Now I'm going to go in and I'm going to use my 2D reshape tool and pull this down. Grab this line so it comes straight down along the axis. I want to go 35, 45 degree angle. And now I've reshaped it. Now I can control D for huh? control E for extrusion. And measure the distance here is three and a half inches. Five, extrude, and mirror, center, there we So now we need the bottom piece to attach right there. Pretty easy, double line tool. Click on one side, go to the other side. The measurement here says it's one and one eighth. One and one eighth. Now 
line this up to the bottom, click, extrude, and it is the full length, let's try four and a quarter long, 4.25 deep. And we need a top piece as well. This one right there, which is the full distance. So I'm going to double check this one. The depth was five and three quarters. The top matches that. And throw this over. And it overhangs slightly. So I need to measure this one. This is one and five sixteenths. One five sixteenths. Click and it's centered and it's shift and right arrow. And it's approximately centered in our construction technique. Extrude. And then the other one I forgot the measurement, I just saw it. It looks like it's uh let's double check that. Oops, wrong this was extruded to five and three quarters. Extrude this to five and three quarters. Five point seven five. Now let's just take a look at all these pieces that we just built. Well, that doesn't look much like a big house. All these pieces are stacked in the right the place. One thing to keep in mind here is that we built this thing all on the top view top crown view, and this is a front view, or a rear view, depending on how we're looking at it. Everything here is in the rear uh, class, so we need to move some things around. This one goes to the top. This, is a, this one's going to go to the right side, top right. This one's going to go to the top left. This one's going to go to the bottom right. Lower side right. This one's going to go to the lower side left. And this one's going to go to the bottom. There we have it. Now let's go on and turn all of these viewports on. More all our parts. Now let's take a look at it from an angle. Well, that doesn't look very, really accurate, now does it? <coughs> so we need to move some things around. First thing we need to do is tip it over. Because if I'm hitting front view, that's certainly not the front view. These are all pieces and they're all lined up on a single plane right there. So we need to move some things around, most definitely. First, we'll look at it from the side. This being the shortest piece, well, it's not the shortest piece because this is time up. But this piece here that I'm highlighting is the bottom. So if that's the bottom, and we drew everything on a single plane. And look at this indentation, this indentation right there. Let's zoom in on this. There's the hole. That's the hole that the stick is in, that the porch is in, which means that it's sitting like so. So if we want to fix this, we have to flop it over in that direction. Now, as I'm looking at this, I'm flopping it over to the right, just like that. So I need to flop this entire model over to the right. And select all, go to my rotate tool, just rotate it from the bottom of the unit, draw up, put it down to the right, so it it's horizontal. So this must be the front of the unit over here. 
because we drew it facing it. So I've got some selecting to do. In our classes, we're going to choose to be in the front class, and we're going to choose the options show or gray and snap others. Everything's grayed out except for our front piece. Well, there's the front piece, and we're going to move it all the way to the front of our birdhouse. The beauty about this is that it is snapping to other things. We forgot the perch. Bring that up there as well. Zoom in on that perch. We're going to make that a little easier. We're going to undo. We're going to choose both objects, the perch and the front. We're going to group them together by hitting Control G for grouping. Now we're going to bring it up to the front of our birdhouse. So there's the front. Now the front of the birdhouse is not actually at the front of the birdhouse. On mine, it's three quarters of an inch in. So now I'm going to move it to the left. Three quarters of an inch, minus 0.75, tab 0, enter. That's where we want it. So we're going to reference everything off the front now. Let us pick our lower left side. We need to move this to the back side of the front. Lower right side. We need to move this to the back of the front. And look like a mist. Let's zoom in and move it that way just a touch. There we go. Now we're going to pick our bottom. This runs flush to the front. Have it. And now we're going to pick our back. Here. And pull this in. The outside is flush to the bottom. We've now completely, we've now moved all our parts. Let's take a look at this from different some different views, but we need to turn everything on so that we can see them. There we go. So there's our entire birdhouse. Let's take a look at it from some other angles. Now we're looking at it from the top. Let's hit. When I shade it, that's what it's going to look like. And as we can see, the perch in the front. Okay. This is a great way of keeping track of what is front view, back view, and so on, is to do an exercise like this. Front view, there's a hole. Back view, there's no hole. Asymmetric view, we see the hole in the perch. We don't see the insides that are in there. We can do another view of dash hidden lines. So this is a terrific view. Back to wireframe. 